so boys it is currently late again <laughs> it's 12 23 a.m in the morning next day i'm currently listening to the debut paradox music ost You know, <coughs> I see it a lot. <laughs> I don't have any tissue in my room. <sighs> you know, the very paradox. Fire. <laughs> this is amazing. Hot. It's kind of sweaty in my room. I'll open the window a bit. I'm gonna blow my nose. I gotta be back. I'm kind of restless, even though I'm supposed to be resting. I think. <clears throat> I see my voice a bit. <laughs> I'm kind of restless, even though I should be resting. I remember the moment in which I. I did a Dubuque Paradox quest. And I remember the moment in which I completed it, and it was so abrupt and quick. To me, it almost felt like it wasn't even a completable quest. I did it in like, it says I did it in two to four hours. It says I, did, I took like four hours to do it. I took like four hours to do it, it says, but it felt like much more less time. It felt like, it felt like an hour or an hour and a half. I mean, perhaps it was up the time, so looking back, I lost half an hour. The quest at least but yeah it was that long and it was a lot of content to go through finishing that quest just slamming with the doors of reality it made me think like holy shit i'm lonely like holy shit and even in social scenarios in which like i'm surrounded with people that you, you could consider my friends or something like, i still find myself immensely immensely lonely I look at the people that I'm actually told you I'm to talk to, like, oh, you buddy, ooh. like, we have nothing in common. I mean, I think we'll continue to have nothing in common for a very long, long while. Nothing will change in that aspect. I'm one of those guys, like, they talk so much shit. They all talk about, their, about accolades, but none of, of which are their own. They all talk about current events, social events, etc., etc. None of which are really that relevant. They don't have the similar interests as me, not in the slightest. I don't get along with these people. I don't know, it's just, even in social events where I'm surrounded by people, I still feel lonely. And maybe because I haven't found my like, people yet. I have found people that are on own, similar to myself, and it's very, very reinvigorating to be around them. I talk so much, and I listen so much, 
point where my voice gets raspy and I feel I feel my ears tingling in it. It's kind of weird to say. I'm overdoing work, so I'm assuming that I haven't impressed them. And the very paradox, circling back to that. You know, my character says something funny during the railjack part where, you know, we were trying to use our railjack to go to Balance and we would have to, have to dodge the parts where <laughs> the sun was shining on us. And the, the operator or main character says something interesting and that's, I should have stayed in the weary. I should have stayed most comfortable. I should have stayed in what I knew. But in those moments, like, you don't really truly grow if you do. Got to think about right. Oh, how come, like, it's so difficult to find people that are similar to myself, my age? I, know, I, I kind, of, kind of know, but I kind of don't know, you know? I kind of know I have an inkling of, you know, what I think could happen, but then all, all relationships I've been in so far, as in friendships, because I've never been in an actual, you know, romantic relationship. With all friendships I've been so far, relationships I've been so far, most of them have been like just me giving. It's eight percent me. It's always eighty to ninety percent me. But, like I'm the most, the most time the majority of, like the main person talking, main person bringing people together. I'm the guy courting attention. Like in forty lost power, core attention at all costs. Yeah, I get it, but it's also another dynamic you reach. The loudest person in the room is often the loneliest. It's like I feed off energy sometimes, so I'm actually like And it's like it's difficult for me to find when I do find another extra one, we talk a lot. <laughs> we socialise a lot, it's crazy. But more than that it's like Well, that well, majority of the time it's like kind of really have no one I can relate to. It's very interesting. <laughs> you know, one of the guys that were like super fake as shit told me that tinnitus is permanent. And I look online like tinnitus is not permanent. Like apparently I have like a weird stance on what to believe. I hope it isn't permanent. I do want to enjoy like silence again. I think that was the reason why I talk so much. It was to counteract the silence of tinnitus. And I put music, not too loud, not too quiet. Too quiet tinnitus runs over, too loud tinnitus gets worse. I only really go to sleep until I'm truly tired. I don't think anyone like truly understands when I say this, but if it's like purely quiet, it's often difficult to just truly sleep. I don't think in rare occasions where I had to I'm exhausted and I've already done stuff, enough stuff in the day and my tinnitus just seemingly just vanishes away or in those moments where I'm like meditating my tinnitus vanishes away it's weird, meditating like, it kind of cures a lot of the things that I have I don't understand why I don't do enough of it if I could reach like, if I could go in my mind for a while now to get one hour of meditation but I just can't do it because I just don't sit down to do it Some post. You know, I said it uh, before. Uh, which also people, my co people might comment in this video. Just get, just get money in the life. Just get money in the life worth living. And everyone always focuses on the get money part because. That's the like, materialistic part, and you know, you're wrong for saying that, etc. 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 That's like one of the most controversial opinions yet. The very, very poorly received by the general populace, but then again, the general populace are mostly broke and all way and sad, etc. etc. So, you know, think what you want to think. If you're usually on the same time thinking as everyone else, you're usually wrong. You might be like, oh, but climate change, etc. Like, Nazis. 
Probably be killed on NPCs, I believe, where it's towards them, they will probably be Nazis. Because they don't have any ability to have contrary thought to think for themselves. They were very apparent this one day. If I made a TikTok saying that parrots are not birds, they're actually a weird form of reptilian mammal, that would cause a, a massive argument. But then, slowly, slowly, over time, people probably fucking believe me. No, oh, but this is evidence, and this, and this, and there are parrots are actually reptilians. Or like parrots, they taste the same. You could say they taste the same as chicken, or they taste a bit more funky, funkier than chicken. So like that's a stupid opinion like that. And then before you know it, oh yeah, by the way, you know that parrot parrot tastes funkier than chicken. That opinion spread, and. So they accept it as a fact, and then it will be debunked and accept it as a throw. But the debunking will be too slow. And the fact that people already believe that parrots <laughs> taste like fucking chicken. How many stupid agendas, stupid rhetorics have we been listening to? Have we been not necessarily, not necessarily brainwashed? Yeah, I could say brainwashed, yeah. Brainwashed by how many of these exist? To me, it's like. One of the biggest ones is definitely video games and Warframe. Warframe is the best game out there. That's an MMORPG at least. It has everything you can possibly imagine. People, robots, sci-fi, everything. It's just, it's, it's, it's so fucking cool. The point where it hurts. This shit is fucking, it's, it's hurting my soul. Like, do you think, how are these artists said it before? Do you think Rich Skywalker plays a video game? No, 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 no. Your video games only work against me. And I'm glad today that I didn't spend time on the video game. But that was I tempted. It's right there, a piece was right there on Transfer the Files. And before we know it, a lot of Transfer the Files was playing Warframe for another three hours. Uh, three hours I could have spent working. Hot in my room. Stuffy breath. I don't know what else to say, like. It's a very paradox. It made me love feel lonely than ever. And the music's so good, but it's so distant. It's kind of like taken out. A lot of people, they mentioned in the YouTube video, this I downloaded from. They mentioned, like. The, this quest got me staring at the screen. At the quest completed screen. For like three hours. Kind of like it picks up everything that we didn't know before. It makes everything make sense. But I admit, like, something's just not right. Something's just not right. I'm gonna go read now. Thank you guys a nice video, peace. What the?